welcome to this video and this is the third video of the series and we have created the spring boot application for aws lambda also we have created a spring boot api uh, we just need to uh, do some changes in our application which we have created in our last video so let's get started we, today we will deploy the application on aws console and uh, we will create a lambda and deploy the application okay so this this we will do uh, manually later we will create a terraform scripts for that to do the summit automation deployment and we'll also create api gateway uh, for this lambda to test our application whether it is working or uh, not so uh, let's get started So first we need to uh, make some changes in our last application uh, we missed something to do first we need to we need to put a get mapping before the matter in our terminal geeks controller and in the pom.xml we are using java 11 so uh, i'm using java 11 so i'll change it as uh, java 11 so uh, let's build the application and uh, we will see what else um, we need to change in this application so for this uh, i have installed easy easy cell uh, for the eclipse if you don't have easy cell you can go to the path you can go to go to properties open file so this is terminal geeks uh, you can open the uh, you can open the terminal tab at a folder and uh, here you can say maven clean install So we are getting some errors inside this so what it is saying like um, class file has wrong version 61 and it should it should be 55 so that means uh, this is somehow taking uh, Java 17 but uh, uh, 55 means Java 11 is required should be should be 55 so what we did here we are using Java 11 but we didn't reduce the version of the Spring Boot so we also need to uh, reduce the version of Spring Boot because the version uh, I think uh, above 3 uh, is required is uh, Java 17 so I'm going to use the 2.7.8 version uh, which is taking Java 11 so let me build it now okay so now our application is ready to be deployed and we'll test it on aws lambda so i hope you guys have created your pre-tier account so you can create you can log into aws console and after login you have to go to aws lambda services you can search it on the top as well from the search screen you can just type lambda and you will see this service here so create a function uh, we are doing it manually later we will create terraform script for for that terminal geeks lambda i'm using java 17 here so i'm just sorry java 11 here the architecture will be same the permission and uh, the execu execu execution rule will be like I'll create a new role for the basic lambda permissions okay so this is I am role okay so I'll create function so function is created and uh, uh, when when you go to the configuration you see the general configuration the timeout is 15 seconds uh, means uh, 
when when the applic this application should start in 15 second or or the application is going to be in sleep mode after 15 seconds so uh, this should be increases i think and and the, and the max uh, max um timeout value is uh, 15 minute so we can't increase the value after 15 minutes so we'll configure it later first we will deploy and test we have some permission so uh, the role we have uh, created the new role we have created for this lambda is this when you go on when you click on this it will open a iam console and uh, here you can see the permissions policies attached with this with this uh, i am role so this is uh, this is a aws lambda basic as execution so this is only going to execute the lambda and this is not going to use any other services in the in the aws services so um, i will show it later how we can add more policies and how we can call other services so let's uh, that's it for now let's deploy our application uh, we have built our application we can uh, we can upload it uh, directly from uh, from our local jpo jar and also we can upload it to s3 bucket and uh, we can give the s3 bucket location we can give the s3 bucket link url here and it will be deployed so for now i am using the local zip file or jar file my application is in jar file Okay, so this is my application. So we are deploying our application manually here. Once uh, it is deployed, we will create API gateway. Okay, so here we will create a REST API. This will be new API. So terminal geeks API gateway. API should be regional. Okay, so this is created. Now create our resource. We now we are going to create a resource here and uh, uh, what it is showing proxy resource handle request for all sub resources to create a proxy resource use a path parameter that ends with a plus sign for example proxy plus okay so uh, okay we are going to use we are not going to use proxy here we are going to use resource id and plus also creating this resource id because um, because let's say if our controller has uh, some path variable or any other uh, parameter so it can take like this okay so that's why we use uh, a resource id here okay if it is uh, not there then it will consider it as uh, as a blank but if it is there then it will consider any any dynamic uh, path variable and this course option should be enabled uh, when we call this or this API from any uh, UI like react or angular or any other um, HTML JavaScript okay so for now I'm not enabling this I'm creating the source resource has been created now we have to create our stage and deploy the application so uh, let me deploy and create resource at the same time so here when we click on deploy we, we can choose a new stage new stage will be um, like dev environment and define this okay so our app uh, HTTP does not contains any method okay we have to create a method here so this is our resource I'm creating a method and this method should be a get method because uh, my REST API is having uh, my REST controller having only one method that is get method and later we can create more methods this is our lambda so we have two lambdas uh, but our lambda is terminal geeks 
uh, the integration timeout will be max I'm, I'm, I'm this is default timeout okay so this is the max timeout I mean after 29 seconds um, the, if, if the result does not come then it will be timeout so make sure uh, when you create any API in the lambda you know in your application it should not take more than more than 29 seconds so otherwise, otherwise it will not uh, give any result okay it will be timeout always so the mat matter request set setting is like when you have when you want to create any authorization for that any api key you required so for now i'm not uh, using this authorization and api keys the rest api contains any meta okay so this is the get method is created now now we can uh, we can deploy our, our application so new stage dev now our application is deployed uh, you can get the invoke url here now open your postman okay so this is your base url now your your api is when you go on a spring boot application and controller your api is uh, slash and test okay so just push slash and test and hit the send button okay this is internal server url so 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 we can uh, we can monitor our application in the cloud watch what's going wrong wrong with this so go to aws lambda and uh, view cloud watch okay so this is uh, the this is the group this is our log group for for the lambda and this is the log which is created just now class not found okay so so this uh, one more thing we need to uh, we need to configure in the lambda is uh, we have to configure our stream uh, lambda handler class so uh, so this application should invokes from this class okay so what what this lambda is doing right now the la when you go on code the lambda is searching for example hello and handle request method okay but we don't have we don't have this package and this class so we need to give our package name and our class name in this uh, in this section here so our package name is com geeks terminal handler dot and our class name is stream lambda handler and the method will be same because we are also using the handle request method okay so that is fine for now so let's save this now this application invokes this method and when the api gateway um, comes when they when we hit the postman through api gateway then api gateway gives the request from here of our spring boot app this class will be loaded and this class will be loaded this static method will be started and our spring boot application will be started okay and then the api gateway uh, just comes here and uh, do the handle request and handle request uh, gives the uh, hit the request to this controller and gives the response let's check this application for now okay success so we are getting the success here and um, i think this is spring boot application is working fine now so what we can now do we can uh, deploy this application through the terraform right so we'll uh, create a terraform in the next video because um, this application is working fine now so testing is successful so section one is i think chapter one is completed for the manual purpose but uh, for the terraform uh, it is still pending so in the next video we'll uh, cover the terraform scripts and we'll complete our uh, chapter one in the in the third video or in the fourth video you can say in the series thank you so much guys for the watching please do like subscribe and share this video uh, if you find it useful thank you so much